name is Dr. Moore, and my understanding you're here for mental. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Moore, and my understanding you're here for a mental health assessment today. That's right. Okay, so to make sure I have the right patient and the right chart, can you tell me your name and your date of birth? Yes, I'm Petunia Park. My birthday is July 1st, 1995. And can you tell me what today's date is? Um, so it's uh, December 1st. Do you know the year? 2020. And what day of the week is this? It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know where we are today? Uh, yes, I am um, here in the beautiful sunny office at the clinic. Okay, great. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about why you're here today? What brings you here today? Yes. So I have a history of taking medications and then stopping them. I don't think I need them. I really feel like the medication squashes who I am. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to be able to help you with that. But to begin, I'm going to ask you some questions about your family. I'm going to ask you some history type questions. I'm going to ask you some symptoms that you might be having. And all of these questions are going to help me work with you on a treatment plan. Okay. So I would kind of like to begin with when was the first time that you ever had any mental health or substance use treatment in your life? Okay. Um, when I was a teenager, my mom put me in the hospital. After I went four or five days without sleeping, I think I may have been hearing things at that time. <laughs> I think uh, they started me on some some medication, uh, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So you were hospitalized. How many times have you been hospitalized for mental health? Oh, I've been hospitalized about four times. The last time was this past spring. Um, no detox or residential rehabs. Okay, good. Um, were any of these hospitalizations due to any suicide gestures? One was in 2017. I overdosed on Benadryl, but I've not had those thoughts since then. Well, I'm very glad to hear that you've not had any of those thoughts since then. Um, and I'm glad that you turned out okay from, from that overdose. I'm glad that you're here today. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've been diagnosed with during your past treatments? Well, I think depression and anxiety and some even say maybe bipolar. Okay. And what medications have you been tried on before for those illnesses. And if you can remember, what was your reactions to those medications? Oh, let's see. Let me get... I took Zoloft and that made me feel really high. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. My mind was racing. And then I took Risperidrone. That made me gain a bunch of weight. Seroquel gave me weight too. I took Clonopin and that seems to slow me down some. I really can't remember the others. I think the one I just stopped taking was helping. It started with an L. I think I, I don't really remember the name, but, but it squashed me in creativity. Okay. Well, we're going to try to help you find some medication that doesn't make you feel squashed or have any of those negative side effects today. But in order to do that, I need some more information. And the next questions I'm going to ask you are about substances you may have used. And I want you to know that you don't get in trouble in here if you've used some of these substances. It really just kind of helps me to make sure that um, what's in your system that could be impacting your neurochemistry. And when we do talk about medications, so I don't give you something that would negatively interact with something you may be using, okay? So do you use any nicotine? Yes, I smoke about a pack a day and I'm not going to quit for you either. <laughs>